Alrighty guys, I'm gonna do a quick video. We have the Master Blaster IR board from Rabbit Labs. Uh, this board here for the Flipper Zero uh, has 12 LED IR LEDs on top. Uh, they upgraded the switch to a, to a button so that way you can tell if you're getting power to the board. If it's solid like that, you're good to go. Uh, soldering, the headers, amazing. The, let's see if we can pull it up. Yep, you can see the reflective uh, PCB. You have beautiful silkscreen artwork there who runs Flipper Town, awesome. Uh, for this back side, we have gold plated solder pads. We have designed by the rabbit and then rabbit labs rabbit. Um, that's pretty much it for that. When you, foot, when you put it on your board itself, with a case, it sits super flush. There's no wobble, there's no play, there's no space between the case and the board. It sits right on top. And when you click it in, it, it you can feel it snap into place. It's, it's perfect. Um, I definitely would recommend this board. I have the previous one with the Switch, and I don't have any more IR devices, essentially. Most of my IR uh, stuff is Bluetooth or Zigbee, so I can't turn off my projector and things like that. But I do take my flipper to my friend's house, and he has a bunch of different IR devices. So uh, I do mess around with him quite a bit, and we have a good time. So uh, that's pretty much it for this board. Uh, if you guys like it, I definitely would pick this one up. I recommend it. Um, and I'll be doing a few reviews on some of Rabbit's other stuff. Uh, he has the Ghost DSP. This is the Flux Capacitor. And that's the Xeon, uh, the, uh, Xeon V2 board as well. And uh, those will be coming in the next like week or so. But uh, anyways, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one.